So before we get into today's vlog, look at what just came in the mail. I'm literally so excited. I didn't film myself bringing this into the house because the boys would have taken me down trying to get outside because they just want to be outside 24 seven. So I already brought it inside but we have ourselves a twin mattress from sienna and i'm gonna unbox it for you guys and tell you all about it huge thank you to sienna for sponsoring today's video and if you guys are wondering who's getting a new mattress who needs a new mattress i'm gonna show you guys why we need this mattress so this is liam and bryce's room my seven-year-old and my four-year-old this is bryce's bed he just got his mattress recently but Liam, okay, Liam has had his mattress for a while. And from far away, she looks fine. She looks fine. But on closer inspection, you can see that um, she's actually been through it. She's been through it. So this is kind of from where I have attempted to shampoo it. There's just a bunch of stains and stuff that we could not get out of it. And we were stubborn for whatever reason, never bought a mattress protector. Bryce's bed has one, so we know better now. He's good. And so Liam did need a new one. So we got the Sienna 10 inch twin sized memory foam mattress. And it was so easy to set up. It came right to my door in this nice box that I was actually able to carry through my entire house myself. Setup is as simple as taking the plastic off of the mattress and placing the mattress on your bed frame. That's it. They also included a cute little tool for cutting the plastic off the mattress, which was very helpful. My favorite part about this brand is that it's very affordable. Mattresses can be so expensive. Sienna is a much more affordable option, but you're still getting that premium, high quality, great night's sleep. I have actually tested the mattress out myself since filming this setup, and Liam also loves his new mattress as well. It features five quality layers to give you just the right combination of comfort and support. We were very impressed with the quality and comfort right away. Ours actually expanded into its proper size within 24 hours and it's so comfortable. They also sent over this Serenity Sleep Bundle and I don't even know what all's in here so let's check it out. Everything is packaged so nicely. This is so cute. So we have a twin sheet set a pillow <gasps> and a mattress protector are you serious i didn't even know that was going to be in here i really thought it was going to be a sheet and a pillow so very excited about this he doesn't have accidents or anything you know sometimes bryce gets on his bed he might spill something so this is amazing look at this he's going to be so excited okay so i pulled the mattress protector out of its bag and i love this the one we have on bryce's bed we just ordered a cheap one. This one clings to the mattress like a sheet. The one we have on Bryce's zips up and it's huge and it's bulky and it takes forever to dry. This I like so much better. We're definitely going to be using this. I'm probably going to order another one for Bryce's bed because I really just don't like the one we have. And then the sheets are also very, very soft. He's probably not going to want to stray from his Pokemon sheets, but I'm going to keep these for whenever we have to wash his bedding and stuff like that. It's always great to have an extra set. The best part is Sienna offers a 180 night home trial so you can make sure that the mattress is perfect for you and a 10 year warranty on their mattresses as well, which is great because having a high quality mattress that works for you is so important and it really affects your entire day and your well being. So I really love that they allow you to test it out and make sure that you love it. You did it to that! I put it together? Yeah, great job! This is nice. That's Williams! Can I take a nap? Yeah. I don't want to get up, but I have things to do. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> alright, okay, alright, okay. Alright, alright. Thanks for building that! Thanks for building that? You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. He said, that's a cute Liam's bed. Is it cute? Yeah. So how am I feeling right now? I'm feeling like... I wish we had gotten ourselves a mattress from them. It is so nice. I love that it's gray. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because most mattresses are white, so it's different. And I love gray. I love gray. But now I'm jealous of my seven-year-old and his new bed. Definitely highly recommend. Check out Sienna. I'm going to have everything linked down below for you guys. I am so impressed. Thank you so much to Sienna again for sponsoring today's video.
So I decided that I wanted a little coffee bar area in my kitchen and I do have limited counter space, you guys know that, but over here I did have the toaster and the air fryer and I've kind of rearranged some things. I have a crap ton of dishes I have to do. I have the boys oatmeal bowls up here. But I had my coffee maker, my Nespresso over here next to the microwave. I didn't have an appliance over here. I just had like my utensil holder and stuff. So this is the new setup. We have the air fryer, microwave, and then over here, I have all my coffee stuff and the toaster. And I feel like it looks cute over here. I have a dead plant that I, <laughs> I need to get rid of. I ordered myself some little coffee cups and look at these straws, they're green. So, you know, it kind of gives you Starbucks vibes i'm gonna make myself a coffee here in just a minute but i really like it there's just so much more room the lighting's better over here so i'm really excited about it i want to get something to maybe put underneath the nespresso machine where i can put my pods in there because right now they're just in the cabinet and i just think it would be really handy just to have them right here so i'm still on the hunt for something like that i don't think i want anything sitting on the counter out beside the nespresso machine because again we're limited on counter space but yeah let's make some coffee i wanted to show this to you guys because one day when i was doing a walmart video i saw these in walmart and i showed them but i didn't buy them and one of you guys commented and said they were so good so i went ahead and bought them the other day this one is brown sugar bourbon cake and then this one right here is white chocolate blondie i've tried both of them once i think i prefer this one but they're both very very good i think i'm gonna use this one today so if you do see these in your walmart definitely give them a try they're not oat milk creamers but I was willing to try it anyway simply because let me show you okay I don't know if you can see that but it doesn't have a whole bunch of random junk in it for the most part I feel like it looks okay so I figured it wouldn't taste super fake like a lot of the like coffee mate and stuff like that does and I was right this one's really really good definitely my favorite and I also just put a little bit of it in there with a bunch of oat milk because I do like the taste of oat milk I just wanted to recommend this to you guys because I feel like the coffee creamers have changed like the ones we used to use the coffee mate international delight and stuff and they just they taste like they're just packed full of junk but these these are a good choice but good morning you guys I'm getting my Nespresso pod out of said cabinet all I have are these scuro scuro Okay. Anyways, these are the only pods that I have, but I ordered some more off of the Nespresso website. I usually order them off of Amazon because I know, like, I'll know when I will get them. So we'll see how long these take to come in the mail. I also went on there because there were some that I couldn't find on Amazon that I really wanted to try. Literally so excited about these cups. I will probably be drinking my coffee at home way more just because of these cups. We actually are gonna do a little bit of white chocolate drizzle in here because I did that yesterday and it was so good. A little coffee ASMR for you guys. Look how cute and gorgeous she is. I feel like I just went to Starbucks. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. You found the popsicles? Yeah, right there. Were they lost? Yeah. You I... found them? Yeah, get it. Did you tell me you loved me because you wanted a popsicle? Yeah. <gasps> get it. Wow. Get it. Oh, my. What do you, how do you ask? Please. 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 Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no, I am getting you He's obsessed with popsicles. Not me thinking he's just being nice trying to tell me he loves me. Hmm. No, he actually really does do that. Brass is the most like I love you saying child that I've ever met in my life. But let's give her a taste. Yeah. So good. Miles has been doing this. Mom. Like why why is he being creepy and just sitting there so still? He's been putting <laughs> blankets on himself and just sitting with a blanket over his head why are you this is low-key creepy bro what are you doing <laughs> and then he's mad look he's like don't take it off of me i was completely content no ma'am okay you can have it back i'm so sorry i guess we're gonna take care of this really quickly look at what my child he's stacking cans pulling them out of this sucker right here i really need to get in there one day and okay wipe that out 
because I'm sure it's dusty. I'm sure it needs it. Also, I need to empty this the rest of the way out before I can even load it because we literally just started taking things. Do you guys ever do this? You get so lazy that you just start pulling things out of the dishwasher as you need them because that's what we've been doing. Like, just unload it, bro. Just unload it. Thank you, but scissors is not scissors. Why is it scissors that you're grabbing? Oh God, I thought you were helping me. Miles does not let me wash dishes, watch. Or he doesn't let me mess with the dishwasher, watch. Oh, does, I was gonna say, does anybody else's toddler do this? But I know they do this because Bryce did it. I don't remember if Liam did it. I don't know if I had a dishwasher when he was this age, but Bryce did it. No, I not did it. Miles did it. Look at this. I'm trying to clean. We got cans. We got dishwasher closed on mama. I didn't really give you guys a great view of what this drawer looked like before I reorganized it, but we literally have two drawers in our kitchen, so we have to make the most of it. So I took some random things out that just don't need to go in here or I need to toss. We have a whole bunch of medicine cups. You guys probably noticed that, but I don't throw these away because when the whole house gets sick, we take elderberry syrup, and so these are constantly dirty, so we need a bunch of them. But we just have our silverware, straws, our little measuring spoons, and then I use some of these little clear containers to kind of organize, like, these are a little corn on the cob. What do you call these? Holders. And then lids to some of my cups. Back here is stuff that the kids don't need to touch, like there's like a wine opener and stuff like that, so looks much better. Okay, so I bought the boys some summer shoes days and days ago, but they obviously haven't, they haven't used them yet. They're mainly for like if we go to the splash park or like a pool or something like that. And I don't want them to obviously be in their tennis shoes, but I had to show you guys. I was so excited when I saw these. Tell me if you guys remember these. I got so many compliments and questions about these shoes that Miles wore last year. And they had them again this year, like people, People thought that they were Adidas, I think it was, and he looked so cute in these, and so I got his size for this year, and I couldn't help myself. Bryce is gonna match. They didn't have- This mine. Yeah, they didn't have Liam's size. I don't, I think maybe it didn't go up to his size because it's like for smaller kids because it has this. I'm not really sure, but I did ask Liam after I got home. Oh my goodness, it's like chaos right now. But I got him these blue ones, so they have all their little shoes summer shoes. I'm so excited to put these on Miles this year. He looked so cute in these. I promise you guys everywhere I went, if he was wearing this, someone would be like, oh my gosh, his little sandals, his little shoes. I'm, I'm so excited. You want to try them on? Yeah, help. Help me, please. Help me, please. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Are they comfy? Yeah. <laughs> They're more like to wear without socks, you know, but okay. Aww, I love my shoes. You love your shoes? Yeah. He has the best reactions to like, no yeah. matter what it is, he acts look. like so appreciative. Hey, look, what? You stomp me. You're gonna stomp in them? Yeah, what's this? You look so big right now. Yeah. You look like a five year old. It's 12.30 and I'm finally eating something, but this right here has been my hyper fixation. So this Greek yogurt, the vanilla one, and then Love Crunch granola. This one's the dark chocolate and peanut butter, but I've also used the like double chocolate. It's like dark chocolate and white chocolate. And it's very, very good. I have been eating this for breakfast and then sometimes later in the same day, I'll eat it as a snack. It is so good. Okay, so listen, my kitchen is fairly clean, so I don't wanna dirty up a whole bunch of dishes and stuff like that for dinner. Also, we have some places we have to run after Josh gets home. And so when we get home, there's probably not gonna be time to actually cook dinner. So we're gonna do crock pot tortellini because the only dishes that we're gonna dirty up is the crock pot and this skillet right here. So here we go. 
I love making this because all you need is some pasta sauce, mozzarella cheese, tortellini, or you can use ravioli and Italian sausage or ground beef, whatever meat you like to put in things like this. And it's so easy to make and it doesn't really take very long in the crock pot either. So you just dump half of your pasta sauce in your crock pot. I kind of do a little less than half, honestly. And then you're just gonna put about half of your tortellini in there as well. I think that's I think that's about half. Next, you're going to put half of your meat of choice. So we have Italian sausage. I browned it beforehand. You're gonna be doing two layers of cheese. You're gonna be doing two layers of everything. So just put however much cheese you're filling, you know what I mean? That looks good. Next, we're gonna put the rest of our sauce. We use just the Prego roasted garlic and herb. And then the rest of your tortellini, this is literally like pretty much a dump and go. And then I put a decent amount of cheese on top because we are cheese lovers up in this house. And that's it. We're gonna cook it on low, but you can cook it on high. And if you do that, it takes like an hour and 45 minutes. Y'all, Liam has had his glasses no time. I think he got them in January and he, I don't think I told you guys, but he broke them at school it's April and he's he broke them. So we had to get his replacement pair already. So I've spent so much money on glasses, but they're exactly the same ones that he already had. But I never showed you guys when he originally got them. This is what they look like. They're just like a green, I think like green and blue is kind of what they look like. I'm about to tell him he's going to have to be super careful with these because honestly, he doesn't get another replacement that's covered at all by insurance until January now. So if he breaks them again, then I have to pay fully out of pocket. These weren't fully covered because he gets transitions and like different things added on that I pay out of pocket for. So I did have to pay for that, but not the full complete price of the glasses. So if he were to break them again, it's gonna be a pretty penny. He did really good though. It's This is his very first, that was his very first pair of glasses. So for that, I mean, he, he did really good. He said, he literally said he put his head down on his desk and it broke. And I'm gonna show you guys, I should have showed you guys at home because I have the glasses there, but it broke like right here here this part of the frame was cracked right here and um, then the lens would just pop out of it so but we have some boring stuff that we have to do and so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I hope that you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new here I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye guys